What is up my average of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is actually COD 2020. So just before we start I just want to say that if you do like this content please hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button and you can say and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I upload to the channel. I also have a live stream which I try and live stream weekly on uh, various games mainly Call of Duty and link to that will be in the description below as well and i also have a twitter which i manually update every now and then whenever i go live on twitch or whenever i upload a video on youtube link to that will be in the description below as well so i previously said that the next card will be a soft reboot of the black ops series and that still could be coming for some leaks a good few months ago were that the game will be based in the Cold War slash Vietnam War kind of setting for this. So more people have co come out and said that the game will be a part of the Black Ops series. However, I said it would probably be a soft reboot and this, this could still happen. However, people are actually saying it's not going to. That it's going to be seemingly, it's going to be uh, Black Ops 5. Now, if this is the case, then this completely, completely screws up the entire timeline from the Black Ops series. From Black Ops 1 all the way to Black Ops 4. Because the last few uh, Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4 were kind of futuristic, but not too far in the future. And then bring, kind of bringing it back to the Cold War or the Vietnam War would probably just kind of break that cycle. The kind of the same thing that they did with the zombies and that timeline for me personally and for many other people that just kind of wanted to know what the story was like without playing it and everything like that. It was just so, so confusing. I just did not understand half the stuff that was actually happening in the Black Ops Zombies. Now, we should get an announcement or maybe even a little kind of teaser trailer coming in May. However, with everything that's going on in the world right now, I could actually see this being pushed back. So, it could, so the game could actually come out in December, which would be really, really interesting with the PS5 and the Xbox actually coming out then as well. So, it'd be interesting to see because if... They do where, oh, it's a Call of Duty PlayStation. I could see some people that want Call of Duty as well would probably buy the next generation console with the game. But for me personally, I probably won't be doing that. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing as of now. I also think that the artwork and other things that were in a Sledgehammer scrapped game for a while uh, could easily be used. And of course, Treyer could easily just ta be taking the whole concept of the Sledgehammer games that they wanted to do and actually implement it into their next COD game. So as of now, I personally feel that the next COD title could be a Black Ops soft reboot, just like the Modern Warfare one was. And they could go back to the Cold War slash Vietnam War, kind of like, I think the Vietnam War was the World at War. And Cold War was kind of Black Ops 1, kind of Black Ops 2 kind of bit. But they could do that, you know. It'd be pretty cool to see because we haven't really had a game set back then since, uh, I think it was World War 2 by Sledgehammer. And really and truly, that game, that game wasn't really great, to be honest. So it'll be good to see what Treyer can do. And they do have two supporting developers with them they have sledgehammer games and raven software so what i could see happening is treyarch and sledgehammer could both actually work on the multiplayer and then have raven software actually work on the whole campaign so treyarch basically go like well this is what the story is and everything like that we want you to do it you go ahead and do that we me and sledgehammer or treyarch and sledgehammer will go and We'll do the whole multiplayer side of it and boom, that's it. This way I feel like it'll be good and I feel like they could easily have the game finished. But with everything that's happened now, I feel like the game could be pushed back 
and it could be around December time when the game actually comes out and if it doesn't come out then I think that'll be the first time in a few years that a COD game hasn't come out after every year so you know it'll be interesting to see but yeah it's the end of the video guys if you did like it hit the pl please please hit the like button right beside the like button there should be a subscribe button right beside that there should be a notification bell to stay up to date whenever i upload to the channel or when i go live which should be rare on this youtube channel speaking of live streams i have a live stream that i try to live stream weekly on that i'm currently doing a uh, link to that will be down in the description below i also have a twitter link to that will be in the description below as well you can bow you can if you're on both of them you can hit the follow button on each on twitch you can hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i go live on that channel you don't have to do it on twitter but yeah there's it guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace